Not one, not two, but three high-quality monitors portable setup for your MacBook or Windows 16-inch computers. It got 9 out of 10 from MKBHD himself. So let's dig deep into it and find out if it's the best portable dual monitor setup on the market right now. So here it is, Montuo 16-inch Pro Duo Display System. We are greeted with a very nice box and as you can see those are 16-inch 144Hz 2560x1600 pixels with only 3 milliseconds latency, IPS level display and 500 nits of brightness. I really like the design of this box. The system itself is made out of plastic, but it's a pretty durable plastic, it has a kickstand, which is a nice addition as well. In terms of ports, on every monitor we have two USB-Cs and also a mini HDMI port. And as you can see, we have a lot of cables in here. HDMI cable, also USB-C to USB-C for charging, USB-C to USB-C as a display port, and also they are angled and we have long and short cables, and some protective foam cover as well. The whole system weighs a little under 2 kilograms, which is not light by any means, but it's still more portable than a standalone monitor. If we're talking about 24 inches, for instance, the width is adjustable and the whole system is placed really securely to your laptop monitor. And also the quality of cables is really nice. If you power it not through the laptop itself, but through a different power source, it can provide power through charging up to 100 watts. And it's more than enough to power even the MacBook Pro with M1 Max. And the whole system of two monitors and the MacBook itself can be powered with a power bank. Cool. I have calibrated both Monduo monitors, but if you don't want to calibrate those, I suggest using Display P3 color space. It's the most accurate in my opinion. But still, I would prefer to calibrate the monitor. So we used the Spider 5 calibrator and we did some tests and also collected some data for you guys. So here it is. So there you have it, we have 100% of sRGB, also 84% of NTSC, which is not bad, and also 86% of Adobe RGB. But more importantly, at least to me, because I edit videos a lot, is the P3 color gamut, and we have 99% of it. And also the delta E value is 0.3, which is really good. So thumbs up for color accuracy for Monduo monitors. And also we've tested the built-in monitor of MacBook Pro M1 Pro 16 inch. And as you can see guys, it has 97% of P3 color, which is less than Monduo's monitor, but the delta E value is 0.1, which is through the roof, to be honest. And here is the Monduo monitor before and after calibration. It was a bit green at the first time, but now it's corrected. Also with MacBooks, those monitors support 120Hz, 100Hz or 60Hz, but they are capable of supporting 144Hz in different circumstances. So as you can see guys, those monitors are only 8-bit, so 16.7 million colors, and it's more than okay because you're using your laptop monitor as the reference monitor, the main one, and those two from Mandu as additional monitors, so I'm okay with 8-bit color. Also, I have talked to Mondu and they said that they're preparing to launch a mini-LED version and it's coming really soon, so stay tuned for that. But all in all, as you can see right now, the black levels are not the best ones and we see a little bit of light leaks around the edges of the frame. But to be honest, guys, I'm more than satisfied with this result because we do have an option of the built-in monitor of your MacBook. Also, as you might have noticed, those are 16x10 displays, the same as the MacBook's display, and also they support up to 500 nits of brightness and they're really bright and they match MacBook screen in terms of brightness just perfectly. The colors do pop and except for contrast levels, I do like the image quality. In terms of color, they also do match perfectly fine in my opinion, after calibration they do look more or less similar to my eye. Of course, in terms of brightness, the MacBook Pro's display is a tiny bit brighter, but as you can see on this Luma waveform, it's not something dramatic. The viewing angles are okay because you are going to be sitting in the middle of those three monitors and you won't be looking at those monitors at a different angle. But if you are looking at them from above at a very high angle, you can definitely see the drop in contrast. In my opinion, the coolest feature of this Monduo system is the Monduo app because there is a ton of adjustment of those two monitors. You can adjust the color, the contrast, 
of both monitors, we have a lot of scaling options, but the main idea of this app is that it scales properly for MacBooks and you don't see individual pixels and the scaling is done really well and automatically. Just look at this picture, we're pretty close to the monitors, but I can still not see individual pixels, even though it's not native resolution for macOS. Also in the settings of Monduo app, you have a lot of options like match brightness, resolution, auto arrange monitors and all that stuff. And auto brightness feature is really saving you a lot of time. You can also adjust the brightness on the monitor with those touch buttons and you do have some pretty simple menu layout, but all in all the app is much more easy to use and it's faster. And I also do like how convenient and tidy it looks when you connect the system. So here I have my Samsung T5 for editing footage and also two cables, one short and one long for Monduo system using USB Type-C of my MacBook. So here are some examples of how you can use those three monitors. For instance, using Final Cut Pro 10 or any NLE and you have your browser window on the left, viewers and timeline in the middle, and some YouTube stuff just for fun on the right. So while you're rendering or you just look through the information, you have an additional screen to browse through. Also, you can use this setup for a huge widescreen gaming monitor, but I'm not a fan of playing games on computers, so whatever, it is here. Also, it's really easy to adjust and it's pretty strong, so it's not flopping around. One more way of using it is using your notes on the left, also Final Cut Pro 10 or any other program in the middle and some YouTube on the right. I like watching YouTube by the way. But what I do like doing most is using my Final Cut Pro 10 in this huge mode. So my browser window on the left, my timeline in the middle and my audio video output on the right monitor. And you can even make your timeline bigger to see more of the footage on the timeline. But keep in mind that audio video output works only in native 1080p resolution and it's a Final Cut Pro 10 restriction. And here guys you can see the POV shot of working with those three monitors setup. Cool, huh? One more great way of using it is for streaming. So for instance on the left monitor you can have your OBS open, your streaming or gaming stream can be in the middle and also your YouTube live and comments can be on the right display. So a perfect option for streaming. And now let's talk pricing. It costs $800. It's not cheap by any means, but there is nothing on the market like this. To conclude, in my opinion, it's almost a perfect match to 16-inch MacBook Pros considering the same screen sizes, same brightness, 120Hz support, good color reproduction, easy to set up system with super useful semi-automatic app that does almost everything for you. So it's a very versatile piece of equipment, but you really need to know why you need two extra monitors and how you're going to use those. I wish it had an option to somehow detach one monitor and to be able to use only one display at a time, without hanging both to a computer. Also I wish the plastic finish was matte so it wouldn't gather fingerprints that much. And also the mini LED version is the one I'm really curious about. I cannot 100% say that it's a really compact and travel friendly system, but it's for sure more portable than a single 24 or 27 inch standalone monitor for instance. And Monduo definitely has more screen real estate than a 24 inch monitor. And I want to say a special thank you to David from Monduo who was very kind to answer all of my questions and provide feedback. I can see this dual monitor setup more like a home station monitor hub with an ability to easily bring it with you. I can highly recommend Monduo 16 inch dual monitors and also the 14 inch version is being developed as well. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those below the like and subscribe buttons here on YouTube. And here's my playlist about monitor reviews for you to watch next. Thank you guys for watching and I'ma see you in the next video. Take care, bye.